Oh my, that's a lot of smartphones. One, two, three, four, that's 10. Techno has decided to sponsor a giveaway. It'll be happening over on my Twitter. So go check for that tweet. Another chance for you to win a new smartphone. This is the Techno Camon 15. It's the Pro and the Premier. Yes, that is a pop-up camera in a device that's gonna retail around 250 bucks. The reason there's two devices is because they're sold in different regions. You may see the Pro in your region or the Premier. Otherwise, the specs are the same. So for the purpose of this video, we're gonna be unboxing the Premier version. So Techno, Camin 15 Premier, a value for money proposition in the mid range, around $250. That'll give you a 64 megapixel quad camera. There is a night lens so there's some low light potential in there as well. The 32 megapixel pop-up camera on the front, we're gonna give that a shot, and a 6.6 inch display. This model appears to have 128 GB of storage and six gigabytes of RAM. The display 2340 by 1080 and a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Okay, let's crack into this. So the first thing you're greeted with is a little bit of paperwork. There is a freebie case. This is a pretty standard style case. It's a clear case with a little bit of texture to it. And the color on this one, oh, okay. So it's like a whitish with a blue to pink gradient. What do they call this? Opal white. This is your camera section, as you can tell. And that leads straight up into the front facing pop-up camera. There's your fingerprint scanner on the rear. Also inside the package, there is a headset included. Yes, this device maintains a headphone jack and your power brick. Your volume up and down, plus your power switch in this location. The other side houses your SIM tray, dual SIM, plus expandable storage. On the bottom of the device is where you'll find your speaker your USB port, as well as your headphone jack. Unfortunately, this is a micro USB. So the device is booted up now, and man, you know, there's just, there's still something about the idea of a full display. No punch, no hole punch, no notch, no nada, because you have the motorized camera. And now we've seen some manufacturers toy around in that space, and then they got rid of it, they ditched it, it wasn't worth the headache or whatever, but look at it, I mean, it's just, it's just got a futuristic vibe to it. You have to admit when you see a full display all the way around. Now this one, it does have a bit of a chin. Let's be honest. It's not an equivalent frame around the entire outside, but for my money, I'm saying for like 250 bucks, it's a pretty science fiction feel in there compared to anything else I've seen at that particular price point. So why don't we just get straight into it and try to pop that camera out so we can see what it looks like. Woo! It never gets old, it never gets old, does it? <laughs> Boom! Up and down with the sound effect. Let me make sure you hear the sound effect. It's too much fun, listen, shh. Like your own little robot friend, pops out what is a 32 megapixel selfie camera. Do I want the full out AI system? I don't know. This is how it's set up out of the box. So let's just do one of those. Whoa, okay. That's a dramatic selfie. Beard hair test? Well, yeah, I mean, there's, there's a benefit to resolution on the front facing camera. I mean, that tells you what you need to know. There's the evidence. And it all happened on a pop-up thing that once you're done with it, it's gone. It just hides away. Maybe for me, it's just the movies I used to watch as a kid, but there's something about the little robotic camera, which just, it's got a special place in my heart. The selfie camera, ultimately you're using less than the rear camera. So that one requires a couple of shots. Also, we got the trusty plant. We snapped that photo. Let's try the 2X telephoto. And then there's also an ultra wide. Pop that one off real quick. Definitely some versatility in the camera department from ultra wide, macro. We can pull a fair amount of detail just there alone. Detail on the ultra wide takes a hit, but that's usually the case. The main camera is gonna be the best performer. Certainly when it comes to the detail on the main camera, I mean, that's the one you're gonna wanna be using. I think this device also has some sort of night mode in it. They call it super night. I guess we should hit some lights real quick. Very low light situation. Got the model as you can tell. Whoa. Well, in the preview, there appears to be plenty of light in the preview, that's for sure. Now, like other night modes, it tells you to keep the phone steady and 
Well, yeah, bring in the day tonight. Again, one of those features that you've seen in some premium price points and now trickling down into more affordable smartphones, in this case, around 250 bucks. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the fingerprint scanner for this device is on the rear. So I'm gonna set that up real quick. This gives you a look at the settings menu here. Yes, of course, you're looking at a 60 Hertz display. It's no OLED. It's always a cost to performance ratio. You have to look through that lens and see what you're getting for the money. So what do we have on here? Screen lock, fingerprint, and face unlock. Okay. And we give that a try now. Responsive. Yeah, you know, it's not the fastest I've ever tried, but there is something convenient about having the rear fingerprint. Actually, when you're already onto the lock screen, it feels faster. But yeah, there's something familiar for me about putting, like when you're holding the phone, sure, you need to pick it up. You can't unlock the device when it's on the table. I guess in this case, you could use the face unlock if you wanted to. Now, one of the other benefits here, no cutout, no hole punch, no nada. When you go to watch a video, it means no distraction as well. Look how good that looks. I mean, even just the YouTube page. There's an example, full screen. When you have a full white backdrop, it's just, I mean, the shape just makes sense in your brain. And it's unfortunate some manufacturers moved away from the completely bezel-less setup, especially for me, because I don't really use that front-facing camera all that often anyways. So some of the concern about durability the motorized front camera wasn't such a big deal to me. And it's nice to see that it still exists in some format. And in the case of this device, they're keeping it alive. The idea of the bezel-less or at least notchless, there's still a bezel here, at least notchless, cameraless look when you're watching a video. On your smartphone and you need to upgrade it or I don't know, what other device would you need something? Yeah, that's not the greatest audio I've ever heard. It's missing some low end. The speaker will do the trick. I suppose a consolation here is the fact that you have a headphone jack on the device still, which is nice. It gives you a little more versatility how you connect to it. Now, because this is a value oriented device and you don't have a Snapdragon processor, I think some of the questions are probably relating to the power. Can it game? Can you actually play games on it? So there's actually some kind of game mode that's triggered automatically when you launch into a game. I just clicked on PUBG and there was a set of optimizations that took place through entering game mode. It looks like there's enough power here to play PUBG. It's not on the high settings. This isn't a gaming specific phone. It's not a thousand dollar phone, but if you were curious, hey, on a $250 phone, like this, can I play PUBG? Well, it looks actually half decent right now. This is a new installation guest mode. Oh, we're already getting shot at. There they are. There he is. <laughs> we're gonna go old school here. <laughs> oh man, rookie mode is perfect for video demonstrations. It's always making me look good. I just brought fists to a gunfight. Uh, not advisable, not by any stretch. <laughs> Anyways, yes, you can play PUBG on here. It's a value play, it's a budget play, and a wide variety of smartphone options available to you. This one has the special novelty factor of the pop-up camera. You saw the low light performance. You saw the performance of the various cameras that are on board, the versatility of camera options. You have the capacitive fingerprint scanner on the back, 4,000 milliamp hour battery, 128 gigs of storage, six gigabytes of RAM. Shout out to Techno for sponsoring the, I'm still getting shot right now. Am I dead? <laughs> I didn't close out the game. I'm, I gotta be dead now. I'm not dead yet. I'm not even dead yet. How? Holy rookie mode. Where are those shots coming from? There, we're, we're bringing the fists again. Let's try. No, we're, we're gonna die for sure. There's no way we're gonna make it this time. Why, they're running away from me? <laughs> look, look, look. PUBG rookie mode. Use it for all your videos, like an all-star. Uh, yeah, shout out to Techno for sponsoring such a huge giveaway. It will be, uh, will it be 10 or it'll be nine. I think it'll be nine phones, nine or 10 phones. Anyway, Premier, Pro, same difference, different regions. Uh, very cool. I'm glad someone is still doing the pop-up camera thing. Let's not let it go. Let's not let it die. It's 2020. We're moving into the future. 
Let the robotic cameras live. Head over to Twitter for your chance to win one of these.